We could be in line for the largest cost of living increase in Social Security since 1981, but it may be even better than that. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I'm talking about. But before we get there, subscribe to my channel. I have over 30 years invested in this business, talking to my clients, and I want to share with you the conversations we have with them. According to the Senior Citizen League, the cost of living increase could potentially be as high as 10.5%. It's been over 40 years since we've seen that kind of number. How do we get there? How do they come up with this projection? Well, there are a number of different indicators, inflation indicators, the CPI, Consumer Price Index indicators, that will help guide us to understanding what the cost of living increase could be. The first is the CPIU, the Urban Index. And that one is up 9.1% year over year through June. The second is the CPIW, and that stands for wages. And that index is up 9.8% through June over the past 12 months. Now those numbers alone don't tell us exactly what will happen in October when the cost of living increase is announced. They'll take a look at the numbers over the next quarter or so to give us and understand what the numbers were for the end of September so they'll release what the cost of living increase is for October. But right now, according to the Senior Citizen League, it could be as high as 10.5% but it could be even more. So let me reveal some behind the scenes information that you may not be aware of. So last year, the Medicare Part B premium had a 14.5% increase. And much of that was due to the brand new Biogen Alzheimer's drug, Agilem. And the expectation was a a certain number of usage by folks who are on Medicare Part B at a very elevated price. And Medicare made some assumptions relative to how many people would be using it and what the costs would be, and then assigned the 14.5% increase to cover the outflow of that money. Well, what happened? As it turns out, there was not as much usage of that drug and the cost of the drug came down significantly. So in essence, the guesstimates that Medicare made for the Part B premium were more than what the reality was. And Medicare is going to make up for that, potentially reducing by upwards of about 2% the Medicare Part B premium for next year. So if you think about this, you have the potential for somewhere around a 10 to 10.5% increase in cost of living on your Social Security benefit, in addition to a potential about 2% reduction in your Medicare Part B premium, which may be giving you somewhere in the vicinity of a 12 to 12.5% increase next year. Now, if you have any more questions, up in our banner, we have a free chapter for you on all the Social Security questions you can ask. So go up there and make sure you click on free chapter.